Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the Malacanang Press Corps. Welcome to our press briefing today with our Foreign Affairs Assistant Secretary and Presidential Spokesperson, Charles Jose. Good morning, sir. Good morning to everyone. I would like to uh, brief you on the President's uh, forthcoming visit to Malaysia. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte will travel to Malaysia on November 9 and 10, 2016 as part of his introductory visits to countries in the Southeast Asian region. The President is expected to hold bilateral talks with the Prime Minister of Malaysia, His Excellency Dato Sri Muhammad Najib bin Tun Abdul Razak in Kuala Lumpur. A gathering with the Filipino community in Malaysia is also expected. The Philippines looks upon Malaysia both as a brother nation and as a dependable partner, not only bilaterally, but also within the larger context of the Bim Piaga and our beloved ASEAN community. The Philippines and Malaysia have had frequent exchanges of officials at all levels. Malaysia is the Philippines' 10th largest trading partner in 2015 and is the second largest investor among all ASEAN countries in the Philippines. Malaysia has played a constructive role in helping bring peace and stability to Southern Philippines, and the two countries are cooperating to confront transnational concerns, among other issues. As two of the founding members of ASEAN, the Philippines and Malaysia share a commitment to uphold ASEAN values in the region. The visit hopes to further deepen Philippine-Malaysia ties for the, for the mutual benefit of the two countries and their people. Thank you very much, Asset Charles. The floor is now open for questions. Yes, Maricel Halili of uh, TV5. Sir, good morning. What particular issues are, uh, do we expect to be discussed on the bilateral meeting? Uh, on the, among the bilateral issues, uh, of course, uh, we expect uh, discussion to focus on economic cooperation uh, it may also include uh, the security cooperation, including uh, Malaysia's role in the uh, GPH MILF peace process. Uh, the discussion could also include security issues in the uh, Sulu Sulawesi Seas, uh, counterterrorism, the Philippines chairmanship of uh, ASEAN in 2017. These are the uh, uh, issues that could be discussed during the bilateral meeting. Any more questions? Yes, Leila of the Inquirer. Good morning, sir. Can we expect the Sabah lane to be brought up? Uh, well, I, I cannot say, no. It may or it may not be raised. But uh, in any case, if it is uh, raised by, by either side, I'm sure our president will be prepared to... Uh, 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 to discuss this issue. Sir, uh, have, have there, has there been a request not to table the issue because it, it, cause Malaysia earlier issued a warning that you know the Philippines should just focus on peace in the Mindanao peace process rather than pursuing the Sabah claim? 
Mm-hmm. So was there a request not to table the issue during this visit? None as far as I know. Next question. Benji Liwanag of DZW. Good morning, sir. Sir, uh, nagsalita kasi si MILF, uh, our MNLF founding chairman, Ms. Wari, last week mm-hmm. uh, about Malaysia, uh, especially dun sa kidnapping and ano. Will, will this not affect uh, the visit of uh, the President uh, Duterte in Malaysia? Well, to begin, uh, Ms. Wari does not speak for the government, no? What he said well, was his personal opinion. Uh, but in any case, we uh, we note uh, what the Armed Forces of the Philippines said, that they will look into into this, no? what uh, Nur Miswari said. So uh, I think that's that's as far as that I, that I can go. Will the more Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF, be with the president in this uh, trip to Malaysia? Will there be any no, representative no. from MILF uh, that will be coming no. uh, with the president? Uh, members of the official delegation only come from the uh, uh, government, the, the cabinet, and uh, members of uh, Senate, I think. Yes. And how about <coughs> business uh, uh, personalities? Mm. Uh, because there will be no uh, meetings no, with, uh, with the business and there will be no uh, business agreements to be signed. No? I'm, I'm not aware if there will be uh, business people going with the present on this trip. Thank you very much, sir. Next question, Dexter Ganibe of DZMM. Asa, good uh, morning. Sir, sino-sinong mga kasama ng Pangulo na mga opisyal na gobyerno kung meron po tayo? Kung anong departamento? Uh, well, of course, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs will be there. And uh, as far as I know, Senator Alan Peter Cayetano will also be there. And uh, uh, w- well, the rest, no? I, uh, I think the, the usual members of the cabinet that, uh, that go with the present will also be going this time. Next question, Ted Tavera. Sir, good morning. Sir, just last week there were reports saying that uh, the Malaysian government has signed uh, deals with uh, the Chinese government. Will President Duterte also uh, discuss with Malaysia with the Malaysian government uh, prospects of how ASEAN will uh, re- will relate with China? Uh, well, there's a common ASEAN position, no. Uh, when it comes to uh, relations with China, there is a uh, mechanism within ASEAN that deals with this, the ASEAN plus one, uh, in this case ASEAN plus China, and also the ASEAN plus three. Uh, so there are existing mechanisms no, on how ASEAN uh, deals with uh, China in the various areas of uh, cooperation. Any more questions? Sir, follow up lang. Sir, paano pong pagtanggap ng Malaysian government kay Pangulong uh, Duterte dito sa kanyang pagbisita? Alam natin na unang nagpahayag uh, ang Pangulo ng kanyang tinawag na separation from the U.S. And then after a week, narinig natin si uh, Malaysian Prime Minister na halos ganun din yung kanyang binanggit. Parang may mag- pagkakapareho sila. Pa- paano po yung relasyon ngayon? Sir? Well, I, <coughs> I don't know if they are... Any, any coordination, no? But uh, what I can say is that countries act on their national interest, no? Uh, so countries uh, adopt policies which they think would be would serve best, no? Uh, their country and and their people. Okay. Next question. J P Bencito. Hi, sir. Good morning. Sir, will the issue of the Saba claim by the Sulu Sultanate be raised by the President in his visit to Malaysia? And meron na po bang agenda discussions on how will it be pursued? Thank you, sir. I think the question of the Saba was already raised earlier, no? And I've already given my answer. Thank you. Any more questions? None? Okay. Thank you very much to Foreign Affairs Assistant Secretary and President or Spokesperson um, Charles Jose. Thank you also, friends from the media. Back to the main studio of PTV4 and Radio Nang Bayan. Thank you.